Okay, Steve. So this is the, you know, first thought laws, talking about the first laws that came out. Do you know what the first law was ever written was? No, no go on. I guess. <laughs> no, no idea. Okay, well, I mean, there's there are a lot of laws, so you, you have to guess one. What would be the first thing that somebody would, would write in, in, a, in a law book for a new game as, as a rule? <laughs> it's it's not, it started off that you couldn't pick up the ball and run with it, so I don't know. I don't know. Pass, pass the ball backwards? I don't know. No idea. Go on. <laughs> you know what that means it means you could have caught the ball jumping in the air yeah <laughs> but not in the 22 anywhere right yeah 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 i mean what, what you have to remember is it, it was, they were developing laws and the, and the first few games uh, at, at rugby school where where this supposed to supposed to have happened was yeah, yeah. The rest of the school against schoolhouse, so yeah. you could have as many players on the field as you liked. There were no referees. Yeah. The, the two captains, when something odd happened in in the competition, the two captains got together, decided what they think should happen and how the game should be restarted. And so that's <laughs> the laws had to be written up. And it was only when they couldn't agree. That they decided that they would have some guy on the on the sideline, not not in kit or anything. Yeah, that <laughs> they would stop the game and and call him on to adjudicate. And then they thought, you well, know, this, is, this is taking too much time, so we'll put him in a put him in in club that he can run around in, and he can run around with us so that we aren't, we yeah. don't take some. And oh, we'll give him a whistle so he can stop the game because we can't hear him shouting. So that's that's how match officials actually started. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because when when did they change that the you could only get a fair, take a fair catch in the twenty two? It was it like in nineteen eighty or something? Around about or later? Yeah, yeah, no, eighties, eighties. Yeah, was was the eighties? Yeah, yeah, it was in the eighties because before that you can catch you could catch a fair catch anywhere. Can yeah. you imagine if they were doing it now? The amount of box kicks that wouldn't happen anymore, you know. No. But then, well, that, I, when 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 we were playing back then in like the seventies and the eighties, you had to have your feet both feet on the ground, right? You had to have both feet on the ground and catch the ball cleanly, and shout at the know? same time, and shout so, at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So when I I remember when I was under ten, uh, the coach decided we were going to practice kickoffs, and the very first kickoffs, this big lock catches the ball and shouts back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, go, <laughs> and, and everyone stops playing. I mean, you couldn't you you could do it from the law, kickoff. Don't you be giving the law markers makers about ideas about let's let's bring back and have a mark all over the field to stop box kicking because yeah, box yeah. kicking is another pet hate of a lot of people. Is you know, this kick kick yeah. thing. Don't you yeah, be giving just... ideas like that, Richard? I'd be a nightmare. You... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so funny. So. I actually had to go to AI to try and figure some of the stuff out, but I thought that maybe that maybe you'd be able to figure it, figure it out. But it talk, talks about a tried goal. Now, now, just to go back, so before when they scored, the reason why the word try came about because then they had to try and kick it over, right? And that's only they would only get the points if they kick it over, not for scoring. Yeah, no, no points for getting the ball over the line. The, yeah. the points came when you 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 took the kick for which was your reward for getting the ball yeah. over the line. And if it went yeah. over the goal, you got the points. If it didn't, play on. So do you know what that means? A ball touched between the goalposts may be brought up to either of them, but not between. <laughs> no, it, it's uh, old English. Uh, it's so funny. So something <laughs> like that. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, so... Yeah. And then, and then the rest of it says something like this, like... I don't know. I can't even make out any of it. No goal. Okay. Anyway, so I decided to go to to AI and look at this, right? So I'm here. Um, and AI says something to this effect. <clears throat> this means that if a ball is touched down or scored between the goalposts, it can be kicked over the crossbar for a goal. But the player kicking the goal cannot bring the ball between the goalposts to do so. <laughs> That's 
that's like coming that's like scrummage law now yeah 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 i, I mean it it sort of makes a little bit more sense maybe yeah. ai is smarter smarter than us or maybe ai is just as smart as the people who wrote the laws but well, like i mean the, these laws were written down after every game where something happened in a game so they yeah. wrote it to try and try and get some some consistency and continuity yeah so the ball when punted must be within when caught without the line of goal <laughs> the ball must be place kicked and not dropped even yeah. though it touched two hands and it must go over the bar blah 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 all that kind of stuff anyway so AI says when attempting to kick a goal the ball must be place kicked kicked from a stationary position on the ground and not dropped for a drop kick yeah. Kick must go over the crossbar and between the posts without touching a play or clothing. Ah, pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. Well, in in yeah. the old days, if you, you were charging a kick down, if you touched it and it went over the goal, it didn't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. really funny that it says, even though it touched two hands, are they talking about the person who's holding the ball? No, no, no. The, the person trying to charge it down, I think. All right. So it has to be two hands. <laughs> How does the charge down touch two hands? Either. They mean either, I think, but they, they they knew they knew what it meant. Schoolhouse rarely lost, anyway. So I mean, a, a couple of years later, the Trinity College tried to clarify these. You know, a ball touched between the goalposts brought up to, you, but that, they didn't change that. But the second one, when the ball has been touched behind the goal line, the player touches entitled to walk straight twenty five yards. So then it had to be twenty five yards from the goalposts. Yeah, so they had to draw a line across the field, which became, which is now what we know as the twenty two. Yeah, yeah. Is there allowed to, to come forward? Then the arms. <clears throat> look at look at the last bit there. But as yeah. soon as the ball had been placed, the opposite side made charge. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> and you think uh, something like this? Can you make it? <laughs> yeah. You know. So this would so, uh, th th this would happen every day. I mean, nobody will make a kick. No. So this was well within law in the old days. <laughs> Uh, absolutely absolutely that's so <laughs> funny eh? it is, so, it is it. Yeah. have you ever heard of a kick out no no yeah that's be that's if the game stopped and was restarted yeah you had to yeah. boot it up the field yeah so you could kick it not 10 yards out of goal if a place kick yeah not more than 25 yards yeah, if a punt drop or knock on. So now, the crazy thing is, basically, what AI was saying is that they didn't want you to kick the ball more than twenty-five yards when you punted it because you'd lose the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> if, if you kick the ball more than twenty-five yards, they'd be but like, they, "No, you can't do that." These are very loose rules in order to restart the game once once it had stopped from what was basically a melee between numerous numbers of people you didn't even have to have the same number of players on each team so schoolhouse yeah. would muster as many players as they could and then the rest of the school would muster as many players as they could and that yeah. and they and they 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 would just play on the field it's really interesting because they say the kick out must not be more than 10 yards out of goal if a place kick, so obviously a place kick, people could seem to be able to have kicked the ball further or something like that, right? Yeah. So I think it was in, in South Africa, Nas Buddha decided to place the ball to kick for touch. I don't know if you remember that. And then I saw the outlawed. Yeah, yeah, that used to be, yeah, that was again fairly common in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Don't kick the ball too far because someone has to fetch it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Trinity clarified it apparently. Kick out must be from 25 yards out of goal, not a place kick. Seemed to simplify that a little bit. So, this is probably the strangest law. Call two <laughs> balls. Two balls. <laughs> so, <coughs> two big, <laughs> big side balls must always be in the close during a batch or big side, right? So, we know that close probably refers to the field, right? Yeah, it is. And the I field. think it's a grass the, area. At, at yeah. Road. Right. And then um, 
they were saying that big side is the place where most of the players might be. So, or they or they say that big side could could refer to like the forwards. Right. Yeah. So maybe. So maybe they they just like <laughs> where the game is. They want extra balls to be there. <laughs> keep, the game, keep the game moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the game moving in case it want to be a quick throw in or something, right? Even though you could use the extra. So you've got to use yeah. the ball that was in play. Unless No, no, no. Not, not back then. It doesn't even say anything like that. That's the line that I I know, I know. It, it, basically, it was just a free-for-all at that time whereby yeah. you could pick the ball up with your hands and run yeah. with it. Whereas village yeah. football used to be just used to kick a pig's bladder between villages. And that's <laughs> what we know as soccer and, and we know as, as football. Maybe what they mean over here is that they... Uh... If you're going to kick the ball more than 25 yards, there's another ball to play <laughs> to yeah. use the ball. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, I mean, to call it a ball is a is a stretch because they were just yeah. an inflated pig's bladder. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think, you I think the thing... You kick more than 25 yards, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting to see how, how laws would have evolved over the years and who, who made them up and um, what they did. You know, it's the same like, at, at the later, the end of the 19th century, when um, you know all the the British players who went over to Yale brought rugby to Yale, and Yale were like, ah, "No, we're not going to go with those these rules," and they started making yeah. up their own rules, which eventually eventually ended up in American football. Yeah, you yeah, know? and yeah. Australian rules is the same, and rugby, yeah. rugby, rugby league from rugby union. Mm. You know. Uh, as I said, you have to remember at this time it was literally a free for all yeah. with a ball. It was one big scrum, and mm. um, you know, kids got maimed <laughs> during these games. It's you know? interesting to note that even in the 19th century, the American immigrants were not happy about new American immigrants. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway. We're going to stop on that note, Steve. I think I think the development of laws is is was no different then to it is now. Something happens and yeah. the game evolves. Um, it's just yeah. they started off with no rules at all, other than you had to get the ball over the line to give yourself a chance to kick at goal. Yeah. And as things emerged and the ball got stuck at the by a pile of bodies, they, the terms like ruck and maul emerged and then when it went over the sideline how were we going to restart and all the rules were gradually added which is no different now the rules are there now but but they are um modified and we're still modifying them you know begs the question what would the game look like in another 150 years who knows who knows but on that note we're going to finish steve thanks a lot <laughs> Brilliant. okay good to chat to you mate as always see you now okay bye